Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can easily replace your faulty downlight like this one. Tools needed today are voltage test leads, terminal screwdriver, and if you're not six foot four like me, then some steps. So the downlights that I have are LED integrated type. They're the most common type of downlights which are actually sold today. Now the difference between integrated LEDs and the more traditional type is that the lamps can't be replaced in these types of fittings. It's not actually a bad thing because these lights, they come with a two year and most now actually come with a five year guarantee. So if you do need to replace it, it's not going to be for quite a long time. Now with the LED lights, we need to make sure the color temperature matches the others. On the side of your downlight or label, there should be a number to say which Kelvin or K it is. Here's an illustration to show the three most common types. Another point to note is that if you have a livable area above, like a bedroom for example, the downlight will need to be fire rated. You'll be able to tell as it will have a can like this on the top, or above the hole inside the ceiling will be a fire rated hood. Okay, so first things first, safety. We need to make sure that the power is turned off to these lights. So we're gonna pop upstairs to the fuse box and turn the power off to these lights. Let's turn on the set of lights, which our faulty light is wired to, and pop the circuit breaker off. Make sure to let everyone know not to turn it back on, and if you have a lockout kit, then fit this to your circuit breaker. After turning the circuit breaker off, we've gone downstairs to find that our lights have all turned off. Okay guys, we can see these lights are off, um, but we're still going to want to test them to make sure that they are. We don't want to be handling these cables with there being any chance that they're live. So we're going to get our test leads, drop the fitting down and test to make sure that there's no voltage. All right, let's drop this fitting down and test the voltage to confirm it's safe for us to carry on. Now, a friendly tip, when dropping these lights down, be very careful to pay attention to where the springs are and try to grip them when able to stop them snapping onto your fingers. There really is no pain like it. Okay, fantastic. So I've taken the fitting down and I've still got my fingers intact. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna undo this enclosure and take our cables out. Okay, let's pause here for a second. The wiring we have here are the harmonized post 2004 colors. If you have older wiring, then you will have the red and black cables. Here's a diagram for your reference. Where I have the brown as the live, you will have the red. And where I have the blue as the neutral, you will have the black. Let's make sure it's safe to handle the wiring. Now I'll test against live and earth, and then neutral and live to ensure the power is dead. If the power is still on, you would see the voltage on your test leads rise up around 230 volts. If this is the case, stop what you're doing and turn the correct lighting circuit breaker off until the wiring says zero volts. Okay, so now we know that the power is turned off and it's safe to handle the wiring. Let's undo the cables. On this fitting, I've actually got the push type connectors, so I'll be pushing to release the cables. The connection terminals here show where the live, earth and neutral connections are. So let's connect up our brown live into the L, the blue neutral into the N, and the earth into the earth bar. Give each cable a little tug to ensure that they are nice and tight and not loose. Now close the enclosure so the terminations are secured inside. Some downlights do not come with an enclosure, so you would need to use a chop box instead or a pushing connectors like these. Okay, I'm gonna leave this hanging here for a little bit because I wanna go upstairs and reset it at the circuit breaker, turn it on, make sure that it's all working before I bother putting it back up. Starry, starry night. Okay, back in business, lights up, working, fantastic. So all that's left now, I'm gonna turn it off with the switch, put the fitting back up in the hole, job's a good one.
All right, guys, I hope you have found this video useful and your light's working. I reckon I've saved you at least 90 quid here. So if you'd like to give back and help support the channel, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.